Creatine known for building lean muscle mass, but do women get the same benefits as men do? In today's video, I'm gonna be covering what creatine is, the benefits and effects that it has on our hormones and body for all my women out there, and the dosing, timing, and duration in order to get these benefits. If you've ever had a question on should you be taking creatine, this is the video for you, and let's just dive right into it. First off, what is creatine? So creatine is primary in your muscles and it plays a big role in actually recycling something called ATP, which is your energy for muscle contractions and brain function. It's naturally produced in the body, but it also comes from dietary sources like red meat and seafood. You may see a lot of athletes actually supplement with creatine to enhance their exercise performance, increase lean muscle mass, improve their strength training, and even aid in muscle recovery after these hard, intense workouts. So let me simplify that for you. I just want you to think of it as basically a helper to your body that helps boost your energy where you need it most, mainly in your muscles and brain, allowing you to kind of push for those extra reps and really help with your intensity with your workouts so that you build more muscle and recover faster. So for my woman, creatine actually has incredible benefits. It not only helps us build muscle and get stronger, but it also improves our mood, our focus, our brain power, and this is a big one. For my women dealing with period and postmenopause, creatine can really help you with muscle and bone strength, especially since once we do hit perimenopause, with our shifts in our hormones, you may not be feeling as strong in the gym. Plus, it can actually help in losing weight when combined with resistance training. Some other benefits associated with taking creatine for my woman, enhance energy levels, improved recovery, increase muscular endurance, and and it supports muscle growth and a leaner body composition. It's important to note that creatine is considered safe for women, and I'm gonna throw this out there though, always speak with your doctor before taking any new supplements. Um, I am not here telling you guys to take anything, but sometimes you get a temporarily little bit of water retention when you initially start taking it, but as long as you continue drink plenty of water, that should subside and go away really fast. Now I wanna share with you a little bit about taking creatine and the effect that it has on our hormones in terms of women. So creatine supplementation could actually have some varying effects on our hormones compared to men. Research suggests that creatine can influence something called our IGF-1, which is our insulin-like growth factor, potentially promotes muscle growth and recovery. There is more research in this area for my women, but overall creatine may influence your hormones like the IGF-1 and possibly testosterone in women. But not like how it works for guys, it is not gonna make you bulky. Every woman's body might react a little bit differently, but overall, it's not something you're gonna worry about. Before we go into the dosage and timing, I wanna share something special to me. I struggled for years trying every diet out there. I was overweight, underweight, I had gut issues, hormone imbalances. And what I learned is it's not just about calories in versus calories out when it comes to fat loss. I created something called the 90 day transformation where I help women over 40 build muscle, lose fat, transform their body, eating more food. And this is the key. I teach them everything over those 90 days so that they have all of the tools to get sustainable results. If you tried every diet out there, you've done keto, carnivore, you're on low carb, you're run down, and you're training so hard with no results, head to the description below, fill out my questionnaire. I will be in touch with you to set up a call to see if we're that perfect fit for my upcoming challenge. Let's get you sustainable results together. So how much creatine should you take? A simple daily dose of three to five grams is perfect for most women. You don't need to start with a big dose to load it. Just keep it steady to help your muscles stay energized over time. And you can take it any time of the day, before, after your workout, or even with a meal, whatever works for you. This is actually a supplement that I take on a regular basis and I even have my vegan and vegetarian clients take this as well on their building phase since they're not consuming the red meat where it is primarily found in. If you would like free shipping or more information on the one that I use, I'm gonna link it in the details below for you. And feel free to drop any questions below that you have for me on creatine. So there you have it, the scoop on creatine for women. It's not just for guys, it's a powerhouse supplement that you can really use to 
elevate your fitness games, help you build muscle, get better focus, better endurance, better recovery, and give you that body composition that you're looking for. And if you found this video helpful, I'm gonna put a video here for you and I want you to check it out. It is going to be game changer to help you reach your fitness goals in 2024. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos. I'm here every single day bringing you videos on gut health, hormones, fitness, everything you need to know to help you build muscle, lose fat, and transform your body.